Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. So today we're going to take a look at some categories and let's see where you place yourself as you um, look at how you deal with the word of God. So we're in the book of Matthew and we're going to read from chapter 13 um, and we're reading from verse 3. Then we're talking about Jesus. Jesus told them many things in parables saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns which grew up and choked the plants. Still, other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let him hear. So how do you deal with the word of God when you hear the word of God? Are you of the category um, where the word just comes, falls on the path and birds come and eat it up and or the rocky places where there's not much soil and um, the, the, the plant dies very quickly because it hasn't had the opportunity to to dig roots into um, into into the soil? Uh, you know, what category? do you fall into? You know, because as Jesus is saying this and giving this parable, teaching this, this word is also applicable, of course, to us. When we hear the word of God, what do we do with it? Just like you're hearing the word of God today, you know, and you've heard the word of God, probably you've read your Bible today, or you heard the word of God at some point in time this week, or, you know, um, in, in whatever situation, maybe in church or whatever, what did you do with that word? When that word came to you, you were, you were like, wow, that's fantastic. I really understand that. You know, I really grabbed that. What do you do with it? You need to take that word and you need to go back, meditate on it. What does that mean? Look at the word again, pick up your Bible, read it for yourself. Take time to make some notes, listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying to you, and then the word will be embedded in your heart because that's the only way that you can, you know, you can receive the word and hold on to it. So it's one thing to hear the word of God. It is another thing to absorb that word, to take that word, absorb it into yourself, into your spirit, understand it, you know, and then begin to act on it. You know, just like food that you eat, <laughs> you know, you take the food, it goes into your system. It has to do certain things in your system, be digested before it gives out the nutrients and, you know, the nourishment that your body needs. It's the same thing with the word of God. You need to take it in, hold it in, you know, meditate on it, think about it, apply it to your life. And then the difference begins to show. I pray that you will be that one whose word, who, who the word of God will find as good soil and that word will grow inside of you and make you all that God wants you to be. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.